The International Committee of the Red Cross has opened a new field hospital in Rafa. It is supported by several Red Cross societies, including Canada. Earlier, I spoke to the head of the ICRC's Gaza delegation about the care that hospital is providing and the growing humanitarian crisis on the ground. William Schoenberg, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much, Rosemary. You are in uh, Jerusalem right now, but I know that much of your team is, is in Gaza, some of them near Rafah. Can you tell me what they are telling you about the dire humanitarian crisis on the ground there? I mean, the situation uh, remains incredibly complicated and um, staggeringly somehow manages to go from bad to worse. Um, I was uh, in Rafah myself until a few weeks ago. And uh, there I can only describe the situation as being a total humanitarian disaster uh, with a sea of tents as, as far as you can imagine with displaced families desperately trying to make ends meet, uh, looking for food, water and medical care, all of which are totally lacking, um, as well as a prevailing sense of fear and anxiety due to the ongoing and now ever intensified hostilities. Yeah, the International Committee of the Red Cross has opened a field hospital in Rafah now in coordination with the Palestine Red Crescent Society. What is your hope there in terms of the care you'll be able to give? Uh, and how, how, how necessary was it to, to open this field hospital? Uh, indeed, the International Committee of the Red Cross, the ICRC, is incredibly proud to have been able to open this field hospital. Um, which has actually been coordinated with the support of the Canadian Red Crescent, uh, Canadian Red Cross, rather, um, as well as with uh, support from the government of Canada and the Canadian Red Cross, as well as other national societies uh, from different countries, are providing medical equipment as well as personnel in order to desperately meet uh, some of the urgent uh, medical needs of the civilian population, uh, whether. Uh, those who are weapon wounded, um, as well as uh, women requiring um, operations to, to support uh, them giving birth, uh, as well as outpatient departments and psychosocial support. Uh, the need uh, for there to be a, a dramatic increase in the availability of medical care is clear, uh, given the fact that uh, tragically, so many of the hospitals across the Gaza Strip have now been rendered uh, dysfunctional and uh, have too often become uh, battlefields themselves. The, the, the fact that the, the ground offensive in Rafah is going to intensify, that's what Israel says. Uh, I'll, I'll, there are people obviously on the move who have moved out of Rafah into what they are being told is a safer location. But what do you think that means for the people who have already been displaced, who had set up in Rafah and now uh, are, are forced to or at least trying to flee again? Rosemary, it's incredibly difficult to predict uh, where this conflict uh, will go. Uh, we have now seen, as you mentioned, uh, communities uh, having displaced multiple times, often from the north of Gaza to the relative safety or what was the relative safety of the area around Rafa. And now um, you know, women, children, the elderly, um, people with disabilities are yet again desperately seeking uh, the protection that they lack. Um, and uh, like I said, there's a deep sense of anxiety um, and worry as people are unable to find enough food to eat, to receive the medical care that they require, um, or to be able to uh, really provide any sense of stability for, for their families. What is the most pressing need for, for those people right now? I mean, obviously, I would imagine the most pressing need would be for, for peace to happen and for this conflict to end, but, but beyond that. Well, of course, we all uh, we all desperately hope for uh, a cessation to the hostilities, but um, civilians require uh, protection, and um, they they require uh, humanitarian assistance uh, to be able to help them to get back uh, up on their feet. And of course, uh, in recent days, we have seen that unfortunately. Uh, the amount of humanitarian assistance uh, that has been able to enter uh, the Gaza Strip has been dramatically reduced. 
uh, as has the capacity for humanitarian personnel uh, to be able to rotate in and out into Gaza, where we can provide the, the, the support and enable the operations that are so desperately required for civilians who are tired and uh, in desperate uh, need and with high levels of vulnerability after seven months of heavy conflict. Mm. William Schoenberg, thank you for speaking to us. Appreciate it, sir. Thank you.